today good morning to you and i'm so glad you're joining me every morning on these devotions we are looking at marriage and i'm gonna share with you thoughts principles that you can use in your marriage to build and develop a healthy and a successful marriage and saints it is possible to have a successful marriage it is possible to have a healthy marriage by just following god's precious and holy word now here's a question i want to ask you today as we begin this beautiful day ahead of us have you planned for your marriage have you planned for your marriage you know before a building goes up like this now let's talk about the tallest building the tallest building in the world many years ago was a building in the united states called the empire state building that was the tallest building where you had this movie king kong and so on made with the final scene king kong on the top of the building that was the empire state building today 2022 the tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalif in Dubai. And I visited the building. It's an amazing structure. I went right up and I had, uh, had a meal right at the top, the pent, the highest point in the building. Just amazing. Now, when the idea, the idea for the Burj Khalif came up, in the mind of a man that built this building every single person told him it is impossible they said it is impossible there is no way you can build a building in dubai that tall because in dubai there are very severe winds you you, you have like a sandstorm the winds are so strong that it could push the building down if it's too tall. Well, the people went to the planning table, the planning table, and in September 21st, 2004, the building project, September 21, 2004, the building project for the Burj Khalif commenced. It only concluded, the building was officially open on the 4th of January 2010, 4th of January 2010, it took six years. Some of the finest architects, the most brilliant tradesmen in the world came together and they brainstormed every possible case scenario, every possible problem, every possible disaster scenario. Please listen carefully, say every possible problem every possible disaster scenario was visited before the building went up they looked at it from every angle and only when they were satisfied construction began today is 2022 for your information wind storms have come crises has visited the building Severe weather conditions have visited Dubai, but the building remains standing. A very, very amazing feature of the Burj Khalif is its ability, the building's ability in the most toughest of storms. When the desert winds in Dubai blow against the building, the Burj Khalif, a concrete steel structure has been designed to sway to sway under heavy stormy conditions the physical building actually has the capacity to move over two meters on this way over two meters that way it has the ability to sway please the building has the capacity 
When the storm hits the building, the building simply sways. It will not collapse, but it has the ability to withstand the storm. Pastor, why are you sharing that with us this morning? Does your marriage, does your relationship right now have the capacity? You know, Jesus, Jesus said, a house that is built, a house that is built on the rock, no matter what happens, will stand. Proverbs 24 declares the following. Through wisdom, through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all pleasant and precious riches. Did you hear that? You're going to get married. You are married. You're inside of a marriage. How does your, how does your marriage withstand challenges that are going to come? Storms that will come. Crises that will come. Proverbs says, through wisdom, through wisdom is a house built. By understanding it is established. There are keys and principles that can ensure your marriage is successful. There are keys and principles that can ensure in scripture that you, you and your marriage have the capacity to withstand any storm that will come, any crisis that will come, any challenge that will come. And I'm saying to you saints, you and your spouse, just like the Burij Caliph, has the ability to sway in the wind, has the ability to sway in the storm, grab a hold of your partner's hand. And no matter what challenge comes, no matter what storm comes, no matter what calamity comes, divorce is not the option. Close the door to divorce. Close the door to separation. Stand on the promise of God. And when the storms come, when the winds blow against your relationship, hold your spouse's hand and sway in the storm. Let the wind blow. Let the rain come. Let the storms come. But my marriage will withstand because it is built on the promise. It's established on the word. It is set on a firm foundation. God Almighty is, His hand is over our relationship. That is the principle upon which you establish your home and you establish your marriage. Give no room, I say to you today, give no room to the enemy. Give no room to any circumstance. No matter what the circumstance, no matter what the environment, no matter how severe the crisis, you hold. The Burish Caliph sta stands up to this day in the, de in the desert in Dubai and nothing has brought it down yet. Saints, your marriage has the same and better capacity because Jesus is at the center of your home. Jesus is at the center of your marriage. And your marriage is built on the firm foundation of the principles, the values, the mystery of God's presence, God's anointing, and God's grace. Father, I pray over every marriage right now, every marriage this morning, that they will be firm, resolute in their decision, firmly established on the world, and nothing wonderful, Lord Jesus, Nothing, 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 nothing will shake what you have put together. What you have put together. No man, no devil, no nothing can put asunder. And the people said, Amen and Amen and Amen. Saints, I need your help. I need your help. Help me by liking. Leave, please leave a comment so I know you're there. Don't just look. <laughs> 
Don't just look and listen. Say hello. Don't be rude. Listen. Leave a comment. Like. And then this may be a resource and a help. A word in season for another married couple. So share this precious devotion with someone you know that may need it as an encouragement in their life. Thank you so much. God bless you.